gracious good afternoon to all you traders out there in trader land d7 here with free trading videos.com let's get after it right here we see that the dow was down with the s p ended on in positive territory along with the nasdaq and the russells but we are basically break even for the day uh, we did have a nice little drop here as you can see on the VIX, almost a 4% drop. Here's the S&P daily. I wish I could make this one exciting. I just cannot do so because not a lot happened today. We did close over the 20-day moving average here. Get rid of my crosshairs over yesterday, which made things nice and bullish. However, today, Wednesday, we made a lower high, but we did make a higher low. We have some indecision taking place here. And the question is, what's going to happen? We're coming full force into earnings season, and it is just going to be a big mix of information that we're going to get. And that could cause the markets to go very turbulent. So you want to be careful out there trading. So let me just take this time to give you some nuggets of truth from yours truly here at freetradingvideos.com. What you don't want to do is over trade in markets that aren't poised to increase probabilities in your favor. By doing so, all you'll do is effectively give money back to the markets. What we want to do is stop the bleeding, and for many of you, we need to stop the hemorrhaging. And one way to do so is to not over trade. Over trade is the enemy to people trying to regain profits that they've lost or just trading capital that they've given back. How do we keep from doing that? What you have to do is tell yourself after the first couple of trades, if they're not going in your favor, put an end to it. Do not increase those positions or doubling down in hopes to get your money back quicker. And certainly do not put in more shares or contract sizes. Don't increase uh, your share size or your contract size, your lot size in the name of trying to get money back quicker. To do so is an amateur move. We don't want to be thinking like amateurs. We need to be thinking like professionals. So today, for example, I did not put on the first trade. Why is that? Because we didn't have a nice solid move today. The odds were not significantly stacked um, in my favor one direction or the other. So because of that, I simply sat on my hands, sat on the sidelines, and just checked out the charts from time to time throughout the day and make sure I wasn't missing any grand move that might have been taking place. Do you have to have discipline to be able to sit on your hands? Absolutely. But you have to give yourself the mental right to understand that it is okay to sit on your hands. It is okay to take a break. Take a sabbatical from your trading. If, if you found yourself in a hole and you found yourself a lot further down than what you really are comfortable with, what I would recommend to you as your uh, mentor, let's say, <laughs> and, and say to you this, take a sabbatical, step away, journal each and every, I'd say the last month, last two months, whenever things started going haywire on you, journal each one of those trades. Look at them with fresh eyes. Look at them after the fact. Where did you enter? Where did you get out? What rules did you break? And start analyzing yourself. So there you have it. A nugget of truth from freetradingvideos.com. We'll talk to you soon.